only mammal that flies, lives on every continent but Antarctica, and there are a thousand different kinds. Nearly a quarter of all mammal species living on Earth are bats. For years, biologists estimated bat populations by measuring piles of guano inside bat caves, or using stopwatches to count bats as they left caves. Neither method was very accurate. What we're after here is to be able to videotape the bats without altering their behavior. And then we can go back to the lab, play the tape back, and count the bats taking statistical samples every once in a while out of the whole flight. It is nearing dusk on a summer night in central Missouri. These Audubon members are about to view what few humans have ever seen. So we're filming them in near-infrared light, virtually in the dark. They can't see the near-infrared light, you can't see it, so we'll be mostly in the dark. We don't think that bothers them usually, but we don't want to push it. As night falls, the cave entrance with its flyover gate becomes invisible. The first bats begin to stir and emerge around 8.30, by 9 p.m., the outflight is in full progress. Gray bats live about eight years and are cave dependent. They mate in swarms outside caves in the fall and hibernate in them in the winter. Biologists count the clusters of hibernating gray bats that are packed on cave walls, about 170 bats per square foot. They like it, you know, just a few degrees above freezing. And that's when they can hibernate at their most efficient and not lose so much energy. So they have to have certain types of cold air trap caves to hibernate, and that's key to their survival. Just a few of Missouri's 6,000 caves fit the bill. Gray bats are endangered, mostly due to human disturbance. So the state has gated the most important caves to keep intruders out. Gray bats have increased again because we've protected a lot of these caves over the last 20, 25 years. We don't want to stop doing that or the bats will go down again. 13 in and 38 out, what did you get? Well, I got... Dividing the screen in half and sampling every two minutes gives results accurate within plus or minus 5%. The two major hibernation caves in Missouri for gray bats were doing quite well. The population has increased, and since those bats congregate there in large numbers, it kind of gives you a, a census estimate for the whole area. Gray bat numbers look good, but the Ozark big-eared bat has not been seen in Missouri since 1971, and the number of endangered Indiana bats in the state is still dangerously low. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.